Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome, dear students, to our science class. So today is Wednesday, 25 of November 2020. We finished from our lesson about behavioral and adaptation and instinct and all about that. So did you do the homework? Grade five? No, there wasn't any homework. It wasn't. There wasn't any. Are you sure? Yeah. Or Okay, so let's open to page 238. I'm going to write the page number, 238. Okay. Okay. As always, this is the summary of our lesson, okay? Number one, we learned in this lesson that instinct is a, a behavior that a living thing does without being taught to do. For example, I need you to give me two examples about instinct. A behavior that living things do with, hmm? Yes, I need you to open your cameras, please, so I can see you. Miss I know. And you are? Jury. Okay, Jury, give me one example about instinct. Behaviors that animals know how to do without being taught. Okay, I need two examples. Me. Hi, Jury. Um like when we blink our eyes, we didn't learn how to do that. Excellent. This is blinking your eyes. Excellent. What about animals? Something about animals. Thank you, Yajori. Yes, Fairoz. Something about animals that they do. Um, th that they like, no one teaches them how to eat. Excellent, how to feel hungry. Excellent, that they need to eat. No one teach them that they need to eat. So feeling hungry makes them, uh, it comes from their instinct and not from a learned behavior. Very good, very good. What about something serious? Tell me about something serious here, Jenna. Something real. Real? Mm. Something they do. They... They run. What? They run. Okay, why they run? How it's instinct to run? Um. Okay, guys, okay. This is what is going to happen. Please, I'm gonna give you one minute to read all this page. Think about it and I need answers. Please, guys. Okay, guys? I know. Please, yes, I know. I'm gonna... Okay, I'm gonna give you one minute for the whole page. Read, okay? Read it. Thank you. I'm gonna page wait. What? One... Page what? Oh, it's over here. Can you see it or not? Yes. Very good. Are you ready now? Guys? Yes. Okay, very good. So let's start. Yes, Efeiruz, you said you have an example? Was that you? Yes. Okay. Yes, Feiruz. Please. So, um, no one teaches, no one like, it's an instinct that like when you sleep, mm -hmm. no one tells you to sleep. Excellent. When you feel sleepy. Yes, that's right. Okay. About living things. How about if they migrate? When they travel from the cold places to the to warmer places, is it instinct or learned behavior? Hmm. Did we study migrate or not? What about hibernate? Yeah. When animals sleep all winter, 
when they hibernate? Is it instinct or learned behavior? How about if they are hunting? Is hunt is hunt is instinct or learned behavior? Who can tell me? Learned behavior. It's learned behavior. Why? They they feel their parents. Okay, yeah, very good. Teach them how to hunt, like how Excellent. to camouflage, how to dig their prey. Okay, things. a camouflage. What's a camouflage? Is it instinct or learned behavior? Oh, hmm. Learned behavior. Yeah. Huh? Learned Again. behavior? Learned? Learn, learned behavior. You learn how to blend in with the, your environment, or you you in born like instinct. that? Instinct. Yes, it's instinct because they born like that. They don't do it on their own. They no one teaches them to do it. What about mimicry? When they are pretending to be someone else, are they learning how to mimic others, or it just happens? It's a be it yeah. just happens. It's an adaptation that happens. Why? Because of the environment. It's already created like that. They don't learn it from their parents. Yes. Please, guys, wake up. I want you to participate more. Okay. Number two, Jenna. Read. Number two, adaptations. Quickly, quickly. Adaptation. Character. Character. That helps a living thing survive is called an adaptation. Kind of adaptation include physical adaptation. Like what physical? I need something physical. Look, think about one animal. See the way that it's move, it's eat, it's climbed, it's run, or anything physical. Hmm. Um. How do they run? Do they run fast or slow? Okay, why? Because they have what? What do they eat? Do they eat meat or only grass? And why? Hmm. Because they, they have what? Because they have... Um... Miss I know in a physical adaptation. Um, yes, Judy. Okay, number of uh, physical adaptations. Like a polar bear, he, he has fur to live in the cold weather. Excellent, excellent. What about second example? Give me another example. A bird has wings so it can fly. Excellent. A bird has wing, so it can fly. Very nice. What about behavior adaptation here, yeah, Amal? Behavior. How they behave. What? Again? A spider. Mm -hmm. A spider's pain whoops. Okay, very good. When a spider make its whip, why? What is the purpose to do that? It wants to catch a prey. It's a predator. It wants to catch food. Is that right? And sometimes yeah. to protect itself. Excellent. Okay. And we talked about life cycle adaptations. Remember the, tod uh, the tadpole? How will the tadpole breathe underwater? Gills? Excellent. Gills. It will have gills. This is life cycle adaptation. Excellent. So let's see the answers over here. If you know how to make a screenshot, please make a screenshot. Okay. So instinct, behavior, and you have the definition. For example, spiders spin whips or babies cry, exactly like you said. And adaptation are characteristics that help living things to survive. We call it adaptation. And we took kinds of adaptation, physical adaptation, behavioral or life cycle.
physical adaptation can be camouflage or thorn that keep plant eating animals away. Remember the roses, the rose that have thorn from down, it will keep away animals from eating it or behavioral adaptation. When an animal migrate or hibernate, they are behaving when they travel for a long space or long miles. Why? Just to have their babies. They are acting. They are, they moved away or they sleep. When they sleep for a long time to survive winter, they are hibernating. All these are behavioral adaptation. And life cycle adaptation can be controlling when offspring are born or having young that don't eat same food as adult. Okay? Please take a screenshot or you can wait for the answer key. Now let's do the word play quickly, please. It's page 239. Okay, we are going to complete the puzzle. Number one, what type of adaptation helps a living thing hide in its environment when it's blinking? Yes, I know. Yes, tell me, please. Camouflage. Excellent, it's a camouflage. Number two, down. An example of? Space is birds flying south in winter. When birds fly all the way there in winter, what they are doing, example of what? Hibernate, migrate, adaptation, camouflage, mimicry. Migrate. 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 Excellent. Excellent, migrate. Very good, Mariana. Number three, what are characteristics that help an animal survive. What do I call the characteristics? Adaptation. Excellent, Adaptation. Juri. Adaptation. Is it Juri or Jenna? I think Juri. Juri. Yes. Okay. Very good. So adaptation. Number four, what behavior causes an animal to be inactive for a long period of time? Maybe in winter. Hmm. In excellent, very nice, very good. Hibernate, excellent. Number five, a behavior that an animal doesn't need to learn is? Uh, instinct. Mashallah, tabarakallah, bravo, bravo, bravo. Number six, excellent girls, excellent. Number six, an animal that is active at night is described as being? Nocturnal. Excellent. Very good. Bravo. Is it, I think Maria. Yes, yes. Yes. Okay, yes. number seven. Stages that living things go through as they develop are called life. Life cycle. Yes, life definitely. Life. It is live. Now, again, if you want to take a screenshot of the answers. Okay, guys, if you want to take a screenshot of the answers, here you go. Okay, let's go to the next page. Now, I want you to draw a picture of a cactus, okay? Next to the cactus, draw a plant that is found in a non-desert environment. Okay, label three adaptations that can help the cactus plant to survive in desert. Hmm. Let's draw together. How about that? I want you to tell okay. me what to draw. What should I draw? 
First of all, how will I draw the stem? Is it thin or thick? Thick. thick. Excellent. Thick. Very thick stem. So it could hold its shape and also it could um, not like get. Uh... Why it's a thick stem, ya Tala? Because it could like. Hold... So uh, to save it's... water inside and can live longer without water. Excellent. So this is the first adaptation. It is. It has thick stem. What else should I draw? Uh, it has spines, so yeah. it could uh, get oh. the enemies Excellent. Away, Excellent. away from the spines. Okay. This is the second adaptation. I need one more. One more. Um, it has what? It, it has like, Sorry, again? It doesn't need a lot of water because it has like the thing inside it. What do you okay. call it? Vo vocal. Excellent. And it has a flower. How does this flower taste? Uh, bitter. Bad. Yes, it's really bad and bitter. Yes, it's really bad and bitter. And all around it, it has spines. So they can reproduce and have more cactus without being eaten. Okay? So these are the adaptations. You can draw it and you can write them First down. Some, yes. some people say that they have like a water inside the flower. How does it taste like? Yes, it has better? something. Yes, it is really better. Now circle the camouflaged animal. It's so easy. I know. Alhamdulillah. It's so easy. The lizard, the, the lizard, lizard, the lizard. lizard. Of course, of course, the lizard. Very nice, very nice. Now in winter, ground squirrels retreat into burrows and do not come out until spring. Circle the term that best describes the, this behavior. I know. Hibernation. I know. Hibernation. Hibernation. Alhamdulillah. Very nice. Now, a narrow method frogs eggs hatches directly into tiny frogs. The environment where narrow method, uh, mouthed uh, frogs live is very dry. How is this adaptation helpful? Hmm. Because they have like a like a wet skin. No, 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 no. Read it again. See, when uh, there is one type of frogs, we call it narrow mouthed because they have narrow mouth. All right. When they hatch from their eggs, egg, eggs they uh, hatches as a tiny frogs immediately and not a tadpole in water and then later in, uh, uh, in the environment. Because where narrow mouthed frogs lives is very dry. Now, how this adaptation is helpful? I mean by that they are not tadpole, they're immediately tiny frogs. Because they live because where? they're going to get you. In the desert? Yes, because they live in very dry place. So and if it's very water. dry place, how will they live as tadpoles? They have, they don't have water. They have to be in water. They have to have like plants. So is it helpful, this life cycle adaptation? Is it helpful? Yes, because they yes. won't die. Yes. Excellent. Because they won't die if they live in a dry place. That's it, girls. Okay, I'm gonna give you uh, two minutes to write because we finished, alhamdulillah. So, you wanna start with the word play or the second page? The word As play. The we word play? Okay. Except the play concept. Okay. I think my laptop is lagging now. Let's just wait a second. Can you see my screen? 
Yes. Miss, yeah. we could pinch. We could but it's like so zoomed could, out. Miss, we could pinch and see what are the words. Yeah, you guys can pinch yeah. to zoom in. We can see it if we pinch in a little bit. Okay. Like, we basically do this. How and about now? No, it's still zoomed out. Still the same. But we can see it if we pinch to our bigger screen. We could, we could zoom. Okay, guys, if you finish from the word play, we'll go to the next page so you can copy, okay? Okay, I finished. Okay. Thank you.